what kind of problems that the weather present? Uh, how how satisfying is it to go through that and win this? I think it presented a lot of issues. There was a stretch there in the second half where we were we were really struggling with the elements. Um, we had a ton of drops. Really could have could have cost us the game, um, but we ended up rallying and, and finding a way to make it happen. But it was a it was a huge impact on the day. What um, that that play that wasn't at the end of the half? Did your heart skip when you saw the Richmond guy going down the? Which player are we talking about? When, when they the, the, the scoop was all the fun. Yeah. 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 Avery yeah. Ross, I think that was. Nice. Yeah, we thought it was we thought it was an incomplete pass, but you just never know. You, you know, you guys have been doing this for a while. They you know he gets to replay and. You know, there were a couple other ones that I was. But did sure you skip okay. them? You're like, definitely. Yeah, that would have been a, <laughs> would have been a tough one to overcome. How, how about you guys you, as players? What do you think when you see that play going 100 miles an hour? Same feeling. Hard skip, but yeah, it's not a good feeling. But gotta move past it. Glad it was incomplete, but we did think it was as well. What your your touchdown strike to Pierre? Not to tell us about that and. Good to have a good receiver, huh? Yeah, it was great. Great call by coach. They, they've been playing hard on my run game, and they did a great job today on that. And then Pierre did a really good job, put his head down and just ran full speed, and I just trusted him. And the line gave me time to give it to him. Sure, how much of an impact was that opening kickoff return for a touchdown? Coach, just... can you pass the mic, Sam? So we we'll yeah. back to Fred real quick. Oh, oh okay. Uh, it was Serge. I think that was one of the most important plays of the game, to be honest with you. Uh, we had fought back. You know, to get it, get it close in the second half, and I think we were down by two touchdowns, and then we came out and returned the touchdown. It gave us a, it gave us a spark and uh, definitely some energy. I think it was huge. And what was the just what he's meant to you guys this year? I know last year he was redshirting now. He's really made an impact on special teams and, and on the run game. Dal Tolbert? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's incredible. He's one of our best special teams player. Might be our best special teams player. He does it uh, running down covered kicks. Um, he's a very talented guy. A lot of ability. And, you're just starting to see that. Well, Coach, yeah. Coach Taylor, what, what was the move going into halftime when you were down by those two touchdowns? Because that's kind of like with the momentum swing. Yeah, we were uh, not, I wasn't happy. You know, we weren't playing very well. Um, we really struggled on defense early. You know, um, we got off to a good start. We scored, and then we were just struggling to get off the field on third down. We couldn't get off the field on third down. We knew coming in that quarterback's really good. Um, luckily, I, th I do think the weather started to affect them throwing the ball a little bit in the second half. Um, because they were, they were almost unstoppable there early on. Were, were, were you worried at any time? I shouldn't say worried, but with the amount of yards, school record, I guess, uh, with combined yardage with both quarterbacks. Season, um, season high. Season, season high. high. Okay. Season high. Yeah. Um, I, it seemed like going to the air wasn't wasn't a problem. Yeah, I, it was. It was it was a problem there for a while. We had she, we had I thought I think a couple of we might have had a couple of touchdowns. That, Slip through our hands. It's tough. The, the elements are tough. The, the, it's hard to keep. You're trying to keep your hands dry, um, but it just keeps coming down. And uh, our guys are trying to catch the ball. It's just difficult. So, um, but uh, this guy made a ton of plays when there was a stretch where I, I didn't think we were going to catch a ball, and we decided to try and get it to Shelley. Um, he's done that all year. I mean, when we need spark. He does it. He had an unbelievable conversion on a. On a I think it was either second or third, where he broke like five tackles. I mean, that was a, a massive play. It just shows you his heart, and determination. Um, he's just got something special inside of him. Coach, was can you talk? Oh, go ahead. Was their run defense tougher live than what you saw? No, we knew it was tough. It uh, they play, you know, they play their safeties low. low. Uh, they're very stout versus the run, um, but they were just as impressive in person um, as they were on tape, maybe more. Coach, Going into this, I'm sorry. Can you talk about the meaning? Just it is to be able to get your first playoff win here and to the program. I think it's big. I mean, going into the season, our guys had bigger aspirations than just making the playoffs. We had made the playoffs, and um, they wanted to, to make a run. And it's hard to do that. It's hard to get to in the playoffs. It's hard to get to the third round, and they've done that. Um, you know, we play another great team, but uh, it's a big deal. But what does it mean to you, Coach? Because I, I know you're going to give us the coach talk, but yeah. how does it feel? Because I mean, there's a lot of work goes into it. Yeah, no, it feels great. Um, you know, it uh, you you get you get really you know uber focused on the day to day stuff, but when you when you get a chance to to, to win it, and win a playoff game, and move the guys forward, and see how happy the guys are, it's a big deal. So uh, it feels it feels fantastic. Marcel, what about you? You 
you were here when there were no playoffs and yeah. uh, does it feel good for you for you guys who, who have been here for all those years yeah it's a change for sure uh, thankful for coach taylor and the coaching staff to come and help us we have the right pieces but we just need that extra little piece to uh get us further was it hard to play in the ring yeah that was off that question there. It was a little hard, but I'm able to trust my game and trust my coaches to put me in the right position to be able to excel. What do you think the biggest difference is with this new coaching staff? Uh, just a lot more focus and goal driven. Yes, more goal driven. What's the goal this season? Uh, win it all. Is that the goal for everybody? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Nash, what, how do you like the ring? I suppose it's a lot more fun when you win in the rain. Yeah, it is. It certainly is. I love the rain. I've played in a lot of rain games in my life, so going into it, I felt like we had an advantage. And they did a really good job, as you saw in the first half, just passing and whatnot. But um, it's a long game, and we just stayed stayed with it and trusted everybody. And eventually, we, we won, obviously, so it worked out for us. Without a national league. I know. Yeah, no leap, but I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, no, no. Coach Taylor, I, I just have to ask you this: you know, going against that that type of quarterback, he was ninety percent last week was unbelievable. But your defense held up against him. Could you talk about defending him? I know yeah. you did mention, you know, the elements did bother him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think um, you know he's he's done it all year. He's he, one of the probably the most accurate guy we faced all year. Um, makes good decisions. Um, very impressive. We knew coming in, we had our hands full. Um, so left with even more respect for him and, and what they do, Richmond, um, than coming into it. So, um, but our guys hung in there and were, were able to get some some stops down the stretch. The show was no time, no time to rest. We uh, got incarnate word next, <laughs> and uh, another unbelievable quarterback. Yeah, when, uh, I think might be one of the top ranked or the top ranked offense in the in the country, right? Uh, so we got a, we got our hands full. I don't know which day we're playing on. I haven't heard yet, but uh, um, they're coming here, so that's good. And we'll see. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll be another bad weather day. Maybe not. Um, no Michelle rain. was telling me about a stat like twenty five and zero when you guys score um, first. Okay. Do you, is that something that you guys? Think about or plan on? We do, yeah. We want to score first. I think it's a huge advantage. Um, it gets teams on their heels. Now, the thing is, is they came right back and scored, so they responded well. And, and that, it, once they scored, I'm like, okay, this is going to be this is going to be a shootout. It's going to be a, cl a close game, tough game. We got to keep scoring. Um, but uh, it was a huge advantage um, to scoring first. But uh, we played from behind. You know, we've now been behind three times, I think, and uh, obviously we, we won them all. So. Do you know what the coin toss effect uh, I've heard that. Yeah. 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 Were you happy when you lost the coin toss? Did we lose? We won the coin toss. Oh, we won the coin toss? Oh, see, I thought that. I thought no, we're also undefeated well, okay. when we win the coin toss, too. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, can you talk about Asher? Uh, you, we know how dynamic he is as a runner, but that was a great strike to, 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 to Pierre, and you guys needed yeah. it. I mean, he's fun to watch. Uh, he's fun to watch running the ball, but the thing is, is you know, you look at what he's done. Not just here, but his pass. He's an unbelievable passer, um, and uh, that throw, that touchdown throw, was about as beautiful as he could play. I mean, he placed it right in a position um, almost where you couldn't drop it. It was an unbelievable throw. And he does that all the time. You know, Asher going go fifty times a game, and we win. He's, he's that guy. He's a cake. Sorry. Uh, going back to that second half kickoff, and how much of a spark was it knowing that you guys took the lead after kind of that? Struggle and that, that weird fumble that was, you know, called back. I mean, how important has uh, Elijah been for you guys this year? And just how much of a spark was that? <clears throat> yeah, that was a ginormous play. I mean, first 15 seconds of the half, and we scored. It just set the tone for the half, and it shows a lot about him. He's young, and he's he's not afraid to take that back. And I thought the best part of the play was he could have been tackled around the 35, and he spun out of it, and he just didn't wouldn't accept taking that tackle so also a shout out to Darian Pollard on the block not not making a dumb play he held his hands up so that was huge as well but really big play for us and it definitely set the tone for the half. I mean do you think that really just kind of changed the overall game knowing that you guys took the lead going into the second half after you know showing? Yeah I think it I mean it's still the same we got to end up on top but it certainly gave us a spark that we needed.
Asher, uh, who are some of the guys on the sideline um, who kind of keeps that offense in a positive mindset? Because there are a lot of times in there where the offense was at a lull, um, but you guys are able to pick it back up. Who's that on the sidelines? <clears throat> For me personally, um, Dorian, Hale and Caden Bennett are really positive even after a bad play because they know the position their quarterbacks do. Um, they just keep it going like, hey, you're going to be all right, keep it going. And Jake, me and Jake talk a lot of positivity. We never sit in our little sorrows or anything like that. We just talk about the next drive, what we learned from that drive. So the insight that me and Jake give each other, I think, is super beneficial for us. Coach, how long do you take to enjoy this moment or and, and then turn the page to look at the next week? Yeah, through tonight, you know, it's good to get early games, get to get home and probably uh, watch, I don't know if there's any football on tonight, <laughs> watch a little football with the family, hang out with the family, and, uh, and then in the morning, and then after you finish off the game, watching the tape and you, you kind of move on. It's kind of sad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel like the monkey's off your back? Oh. I don't know. I've been part of a lot of playoff wins in, uh, in the past, so uh, I never looked at it that way. Um, uh, but it's I'm happy for these guys for sure. What is your, you just your speech to the guys after the um, after this when you're out of here? After the game, uh, yeah, we just uh, just how proud I am of them and how resilient and you know when they play through things. I mean, it's a literal long game. And there's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of different play times that could have turned, but they've done it all year. These guys, uh, we just all we talk about always believing that something good is going to happen, and believing that we're going to find a way. We talk about that before every game. We'll find a way to win. Jake, we got time for one more question. Ready? Can you just give us your just initial thoughts? I know you talked a little bit about Incarnate Word, but about GJ Kinney and, and what you've seen from his yeah, coaching. I mean, the numbers are phenomenal. I haven't seen them on tape, um, but uh, the numbers are astounding. Um, they've done it to everybody. You know, they did it to uh, FBS teams. Um, they've done it. All year, so um, we got to be ready. We got to be ready to play some great defense and score some points, and um, it'll be a great game. Awesome. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank uh, you guys. Richmond, Richmond will be in if and wants them. They, their head coach and a couple players will be in. If anyone has any additional needs for us, let me know what I can.